Hello everyone and welcome to Examly. So we are starting a new series for practicing coding for phase two of SEBI and this is the day one of the video. So here in this particular series, we will bring one question in one particular video and the level of the questions will be from moderate to difficult. What you have to do, you have to understand the entire concept here in the video. And after that, a solution will be provided. You can code in whichever language you want to code but at the end of the day what you will be having you will be having a difficult to moderate level of question and the solution you just have to modify the solution according to the language in which you are coding okay so i will be bringing let's say the solution in c plus plus so if you are a java coder you can get the concept here definitely but you have to change the syntaxes and semantics according to java same applies for python users as well so i will bring the solution in any one of the language and probably you have to translate according to your need in whichever language you are coding so let's take the, the question number one for the day one and the question goes like maximizing profit by buying and selling so what in this question we are going to do we are going to take set of prices of a stock we assume that we have the prices in our hand so we know that the stocks are related to the prices okay and the prices fluctuate they are like varying in nature okay they vary so now what we have to assume suppose let's say there is a stock of let's say for a company xyz and the stock price on day one it was 100 on day two was 180 on day three was let's say it was 55 then let's say on next day it went to 65 then let's say it is for 75 and let's say on this day it went to 550 so let's say the prices of company xyz are varying and we know uh, the prices for n number of days okay actually this is not possible but uh, we are just imagining one scenario where we are going to tackle a problem to maximize our profit so what we need to do where to buy from when to buy and when to sell this is the thing that we need to tell our customer now let's see the more formal version of the question so the question here is saying that you are having the cost on each day and the cost is given in the set of array as i showed you in the previous slide and the size of the array is n so what we mean when we say the size of the array is n means n are the number of days n are the number of days for which we know the prices of the stock now what we have to do we have two solve questions for this thing first question is like you have to calculate the maximum profit and the other question is like you have to find all those days in which you are buying and selling the stock so that in between those days your profit is maximum so these are the two questions and in this video we are going to take the question number one and in the next video we are going to take the question number two if you wish you can just try to like quote the question number two but if you uh, fail there no problem we will bring the other video in that video we are going to discuss the part two of this particular problem so let's first understand the part one that is the calculation of the maximum profit so what we are actually doing here as i showed you earlier there will be an array and here the name of our array is what the name of our array is ar okay let's assume not ar it is a basic let's say it is array and the size is in let's assume the size is five n is equal to 5 for our use case and let's assume the prices are as follows okay let's assume these are the prices understood let's keep it uh, not 100 let's keep this particular thing as 50 okay so 100 180 290 50 and 150 this is day one this is day two this is day three this is day four and this is day five so now what we are going to do when we are trying to maximize our profit i have to find the summation of the maximum profit that I can gain by buying and selling my stock. Okay, so you know, if you purchase your stock at price 100 and if you have a chance to sell these things, you have option four. You have four options. Either you can sell it on 180 or 290 or 50 or 150. Okay, now what you will be doing, definitely you will be trying to purchase it at 100 and sell it at 290 so 290 minus 100 will be equal to 190 head so this is your profit which you are gathering while buying on day one and selling on day three understood now if you sell on this particular day you will incur a loss so now you won't want to have any kind of losses so you will just sell it here now you see the prices are down now you again have a tendency to buy 
so you will buy on day four on day four you are going to buy here we are selling here we are buying and again what we are going to do till this point of time we get to know that 150 is the next day price so what we are going to have 150 minus 50 this is equal to 100 okay this is equal to 100 so this is our profit number two which we gain from again buying this particular thing on day four and selling it on day five okay so question number one wants you to output the maximum profit that is 190 plus 100 okay this is equal to 290 now question number two wants you to give the pair of the days in which you are going to sell and sell out okay so you are going to uh, buy on day one and selling on day three so one set will be one comma three and other set will be four comma five Okay, so buying on day one, selling on day three will give you the profit of 190. Then again, you want to have it. So you will be having the another set of solution that is 4,5. So this is the thing that you want to put in uh, as an output in question number two. And in question number one, you have to give the output as 290. So in this particular video, we are focusing ourselves on question number one. So let's take the code ahead. So this is the driver code. You know that in SEBI, you have to write the code from the very scratch. You know how the input is going to look like and you know how the output is behaving to you so now let's try to understand the problem and the solution that we are taking ahead so you have this particular code is into c plus plus basically okay but anyhow the logic will remain same so once you know the logic you can code on java as well as in python okay so now what we are going to do we are taking a variable called as n when we are initializing it to zero what is n if you remember our question n is the number of days of which you are aware of the stock prices now you are giving a use you are giving user a particular prompt message that enter the number of days for which the stock prices are available what is the value of n because n is the variable here so you have to take the value of n into something so we have uh, like taken the value here using the c in operator so for all those who are new to c plus plus c out is used to output something to console and c in is used in order to gain or like fetch the values which the user is entering okay now once you are doing in stock and you are creating an array as told in the question so here i have took the name of the array as stock in the question it is a so you can take a or whatever name suits to you after that thing you are outputting a message to the user that enter the respective prices of each day that what will be the prices what will be the values of those fields in the array for the size n so taking that thing you will be having a for loop this particular thing is insertion in array mind i told you everyone like i told everyone to have command over the traditional concepts of the data structure so once you understand how you have to do insertion this piece of code will seem very easy to you so small pieces of code traditional pieces of code make the actual uh, like actual moderate or difficult question happen okay so what we are going here i will just tell you a quick logic we are having a for loop and we know from where to start and where to end so we are taking the condition as accordingly and then we're just outputting this particular c out yes is acting as a debug thing which i have inserted in order to know that my for loop is reachable or not and my for loop is working properly or not so you can skip this thing or you can just comment it out this is just for a debug statement after that thing what you're doing you are just giving the maximum profit what will be the thing and you are trying to print uh, using one function which is called as buy underscore sell so we are creating a function buy underscore sell and there we are actually calculating the maximum profit what parameters we have taken into scenario these are the three parameters which have taken into the scenario buy and sell stock is the array into which you are having the prices zero is the starting and n minus one is the ending of the array now this particular thing is the declaration of your function understood i hope everyone is comfortable till now if anyone is having any doubt they can mention in the comment section now let's took the second uh, let's take the next uh, piece of code so what we are doing here so here you can see i have written the logic for the buy and sell function here i am taking this thing so in the declaration part i didn't make this sign you don't have to make this sign make this sign but in the definition part you have to properly do all kind of stuff okay so here i am just writing this out now back date operations are not allowed so what you need to do here 
if you are like whenever you are having that particular array you cannot purchase and sell in a pack date okay so for that purpose you have to put one constraint you have to actually test one test case where if the user is saying that i want to start from this and i want to end this thing and the starting is less than the uh, greater than the ending basically so you have to return zero okay means there is nothing that we need to perform and we are not entirely going into the logic anymore after that thing you have to initialize the profit let's take a one variable for the profit then we are actually buying the stock for buying the stock we know that from where to start so we are starting from the start we are going till n whatever the inputs we are having in our function definition and declaration then what is the selling logic so basically the buying and selling logic are clubbed together in this piece of code and then we are creating the maximum thing that is there okay max is a inbuilt function which will help you to identify the maximum between these two that is profit and current profit what is current profit current profit is again a variable which will take the local profit uh, you can say local profit values which we are going to calculate using this particular operation now what we are going to do first check the profit if the future price is more keep the stock and check for the next day so we are going to hold also if our future price stock is less then we are going to sell if our future price stock is not uh, less then we are going to maintain a hold because we want to have the maximum profit okay so that the thing we are doing we are going to start and going to end then we are having the selling logic that when we have to sell it is the next day so that's why i plus 1 i is this counter and j is the counter which is having an increment over i after that thing the end condition will still remain the same and then you have to check whether the prices of the stock at j which is way ahead is greater than or less than i okay and for that matter what you need to do here you need to check this prices so if it is true if it is true means the next day prices are more then only we are going to perform this operation and here we are using the recursion what uh, what kind of methodology we are using here we are using recursion here recursion is the only way to solve the problems which are categorized into uh, the same kind of logic and we are maintaining the previous set of values as well okay so first you have to get the delta between the prices price of the stock on j and i after that thing you again have to call the thing on the start and i minus 1 and till j and j minus okay so this is particularly the logic in which you are going to uh, operate everything and then you will be getting the maximum output that you are going to have so it will be having entire pnc it will be having entire pnc of the question that when to buy when to sell at it will give you the maximum profit out there okay so by this logic you can just uh, uh, get your maximum output okay so this is about this small piece of code this looks easy because i have explained everything but when you are going to start writing this code this will be something tricky try to maintain the correct syntax so in order you do not miss any chance to have any compilation error okay now the next uh, thing to you all is to write the code for the point number 2 we will bring the code for the point number 2 in the next video but till that you have enough amount of time to just check out your hand on this particular piece of code so that when i will bring you the solution you will be uh, able to understand where you are going wrong in terms of logic where you are going wrong in terms of the language everything will be crystal clear okay so that is on you first question i have uh, already like explained in the video so try and code on these particular questions okay see you in the next video till the time keep practicing and stay up